Hey everyone, this is Josh with another Bitcoin and blockchain tutorial available at chaintuts.com. And today, by popular demand, this tutorial is going to show you how to recover lost Bitcoin cash that you accidentally sent to a Bitcoin address. So what happens sometimes is there's a confusion between the Bitcoin or Bitcoin Core blockchain and the Bitcoin Cash blockchain, which both have compatible address formats. And sometimes what happens is a user will try to send Bitcoin Cash to another wallet and they accidentally get an address from a Bitcoin BTC wallet and send the funds there. Now, not all hope is lost if you've done this. As long as the Bitcoin wallet is a wallet where you control the private keys, you can recover your funds fairly trivially. Now, that is an important caveat. If you've accidentally sent your funds to a wallet where you don't control the private keys, uh, such as to an exchange like the Cash App or Coinbase, you'll have to contact that particular exchange or application's customer support because they're the ones that hold the private keys. But in this example, we're going to show you what you can do uh, if that confusion happens and you accidentally send funds to a wallet where you do have access to the private keys. Now, if you're not sure if you do have access to your private keys, you're going to want to make sure uh, that you're using a wallet that gives you one of these backup seed phrases. So they are 12 to 24 English words. And uh, what these are is uh, words that serve as a cryptographic seed to generate all of your wallet's private keys and addresses. So in this case, what I've done is I have sent a Bitcoin Cash transaction to a uh, wallet where I control the private keys. And in this case, I sent that transaction to a blockchain.info wallet. So I just sent about a penny worth of funds to test this out, and I'm going to show you what the steps are to recover, uh, recover the funds that you sent to the wrong address. So in this case, I sent to a uh, Bitcoin Cash address, but I got it from my Bitcoin wallet. This is the legacy address format where addresses start with a one and they use a mix of upper and lowercase characters and numbers uh, called base 58 encoding. Nowadays, most Bitcoin cash transactions use the cash adder format to avoid this confusion, but sometimes these things still happen and these addresses are compatible across the chains. So here's what you can do if you've accidentally done this. We have the address that we need here, this starting with 1KA4YZ. And since I'm using a wallet where I control the private keys, I do have my mnemonic backup phrase. I've already copied this out of my blockchain.info wallet, and it's this seed phrase here starting with water and pulse. Now, it's very important to note that if you're recovering your funds and you're having trouble, uh, this is something that's supposed to remain private. Be very, very careful who you give this mnemonic backup seed phrase to, and uh, you never want to give it to anybody that you don't trust or put it out online. I'm simply doing this here because this is a throwaway wallet that I generated in order to do this tutorial and show you the process. Now that we have the recovery seed phrase, what I'm going to do is plug this into a really useful tool by developer Ian Coleman. This is the BIP39 mnemonic code converter tool. And what this does is it takes your mnemonic seed phrase and it actually goes through the cryptographic processes to generate your Bitcoin private keys and associated addresses. And now when you open this up this tool to run through this process with a real wallet and real funds, it's very important that you download this tool offline and run it offline. When you're using an online tool and you're not sure if you can trust it, you, you can't really know that somebody might have some code in there that would try and record your private seed information and steal your funds. Now this is a well-trusted tool in the community that we're, we know doesn't do that, but for security purposes, you should always download this page by doing right-click, save as, uh, downloading the page, 
and then disconnecting from the internet entirely, whether that's your Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection, and opening up that page locally in your browser. That'll ensure that if there were any secret code in here that would try to steal your funds, it wouldn't be able to send that information back to another server. Now what I've done here is I've inputted the recovery phrase from my wallet where I accidentally sent the funds to the Bitcoin address into this tool. And what this tool then does is it creates the derived private keys and associated addresses. So I know from this transaction here that I accidentally sent funds to this address, again starting with 1KA4YZ. So what I want to do here is then look for this address in uh, this list of derived addresses here from the seed phrase. And it turns out since this is, this is the first transaction for this wallet, this is actually the first address in the list. Now if you generate a bunch of addresses here and you don't see your address, don't panic. There are different derivation paths and derivation schemes used by different wallets. So you might have to play around here with uh, the coin, with the accounts, and this sort of information here to get the right addresses. But in this case, the defaults are sufficient and we have our address here. But we don't really need the public address. What we need to recover our funds is actually the associated private key. And that's this here starting with L17RWFU. This is the wallet import format private key. And it's really great news that we found this because this means for sure we have the key for the address that we sent the funds to and that means we really do own the funds. They're under our ownership. We have the secret key that unlocks them uh, for spending on the blockchain. We might just not be seeing them in our wallet because we accidentally send it uh, to a wallet that is only displaying address information that it finds on the Bitcoin blockchain and not the Bitcoin Cash blockchain. So now what we need to do is we need to take this private key and we need to import this private key into a wallet that allows us to sweep funds. So uh, on mobile, I like using the Coinomi wallet uh, for some of the coins that I use. And this uh, mobile version of that wallet offers the ability to sweep funds. However, when I was playing around with this today, it looks like Coinomi doesn't support that feature on desktop. So here I'm using the uh, very popular Electron Cash wallet. And I actually just opened up this application to start a new wallet. And it gives you the option of importing uh, existing Bitcoin addresses. So it says here all we need to do is go ahead and paste this private key uh, into this dialog window here and it should sweep the funds from that address or at least rather uh, allow us to access the funds at that immediate address. Okay so this is a great result here. We now have access again in a wallet that we control to the funds that we lost. So we have these funds here in the Electron Cash wallet and we're good to go for the most part. Um, what we did again is we sent funds accidentally to a Bitcoin address provided by a Bitcoin wallet, but the private keys and associated addresses are the same for Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. The funds never really left the Bitcoin Cash blockchain. You can't send funds from Bitcoin Cash to Bitcoin, but because of the compatibility of addresses, it just created some confusion for us. And we used our mnemonic seed phrase to get the correct private key for this address and imported it into a wallet that we control. So you now have your Bitcoin Cash funds back in your wallet here. You can spend them. Uh, from here just store them in this wallet but what I would recommend doing is what's actually called a sweep of the funds. There's a difference between importing a private key and sweeping one. Importing a private key into your wallet means that the wallet software just loads that private key into it uh, so it can unlock and spend the funds. But if you're using a wallet where you have a mnemonic backup phrase for your Bitcoin Cash, it won't actually back up the wallet address that you imported because it's not part of the derivation scheme for that seed phrase. 
So what you should do instead is actually sweep those funds to another wallet. So what you would do here then is you would just create a new transaction and send it back to your normal Bitcoin Cash wallet that you use. And that then makes sure that those funds are actually covered by a mnemonic backup that you have in your normal wallet. So as always, there is a written tutorial on the Chain Tutorials website that accompanies this video tutorial, and it'll walk you through the same steps that you need to know to recover your lost Bitcoin Cash funds. I understand that this is something that's a little bit scary and intimidating if you lose funds in the cryptocurrency world because it's not like a traditional banking system where you have help from an institution that is actually managing the funds for you. Uh, but the great thing about cryptocurrencies is that you do have sovereignty over your own money, you have control over your own money. And so with a little bit of learning, you can uh, fix up some of these mistakes and I really hope that this tutorial was interesting and informative and helps you maybe recover some of your lost funds. So as always, I wanna thank you very much for listening.